So we're gonna imagine that uh, perhaps opponent has the lead. Uh, they're not really willing to give much opening. So we're gonna look to do kind of a hit with a little deeper feint afterwards. So very simple. I'm moving in and out on my step forward. You wanna attempt the hand hit, but without any leg movement, arm only, okay? Yeah, let's move, let's move. Head. As I step in, good. Just don't drop your arm. Nice and straight over 12 o'clock. Bam, good. Yeah, try not to coupe too much, just nice thrust. I don't need you to necessarily score, do your best effort, but don't adjust anything because as we're gonna progress, this is gonna matter a little less. Uh, touch, beautiful, that's right. Bam, good. Bam. Good, back away, very good. Now, hit, bam. As I parried you, you're gonna disengage, give me a half step, and then disengage again, lunge. Very good. So maybe a half step, use that like in quotations, that's more like a, to describe the action. In reality, maybe a quarter step, just a little bit with a step to make me believe that once I parried, you disengage and you have committed, right? And then you're gonna do two disengages. So what we're getting at is that usually what you guys all end up doing is you guys end up doing the half lunge to the wrist right away and then you're just making a disengage. In which case, a lot of times people just ignore your first entry. You're gonna use your hand and then do a half lunge, going a little deeper, half step I should say, and then continue for the actual lunge. All right, so back away, let's get some distance in us. Good, without a step, right? So again, just extension, good, nice hit. Pow, half step, lunge, recover. Okay, try to dig it in, that's right. No lunge, no step. Arm only, you gotta learn to step into the distance, like creep into the distance, small steps, where the extension only will be actually adequate of an action. Yeah, small footwork, creep in, pump, without having any movement. That's right. As I step in, perfect. Up, half step, lunge. Very good, and get out. Yeah, you can switch blades, yeah. Good. Extension without a step. Don't get in rhythm and just by accident make that step, right? Remember we talked about, you don't wanna have this natural rhythm of forwards and backwards. More up and down, so that way you move forwards or backwards based on decision. Right, right, that's right, that's right, extension. Less leg, no leg actually, that's it. Pump, hop, pump. Good. Now, in order for this to work in the end, don't make a, like after the first hit, don't just do a half step and see what my reaction is. It's not gonna be efficient. We're gonna make that as a premeditated attack, right? So, palm, you, you probe with your hand hit, and you see what am I most likely? Am I taking four, am I taking six? 90% of people, after four, they will take six. After six, they will take four, something along those lines, right? Good. Bam, attempt, good. Attempt, and then, no, so go for this attempt first. From here, premeditated half step lunge. Puff, puff. That's right, but with no pause, right? Just puff, puff. Your front, your front foot is like as if you're trying to jump into the puddle, like over the puddle, you're gonna gently tap the water, in, like tap your toes into the water and continue flying. So we're not actually putting weight on. It's gonna be puff, puff, and step in, just. Tap tap. Does it hurt me? I don't feel anything. Okay, good. It feels hard when I hit and I got That's what you guys no, this is that's why I make my own sleeves. Like these things they can take a pounding for 20 years. Okay. <laughs> good. Up, half step, but don't wait. Don't do a half step and wait. Premeditate it. Pop pop. Right? Front foot, extremely quick movement. Just light tap, tap tap, like tap dancing. Mm -hmm. Pop pop, pop pop. Pop, tap tap. Yeah. 
not straight lunge, half step, disengage, lunge on the, with a disengage on the other side. So, dos disengages, two disengages. <laughs> My Spanish is, you know. I have a trip to go to Mexico soon, like I'm practicing. Attempt the hand hit, attempt the hand. You end up oftentimes falling in the trap of just making these short feints. That's why nobody reacts, right? A faint is a part of the real action. Yeah, we can give 10% of the faint, but occasionally 90% of the actual action is what's required. Just to get me to give you an honest reaction. Good. I'm only good. Nice touch. Half step. Good. And separate. Bam. Half step lunge. Good. Good. Half. Bam. Good. So don't wait. I parried you. You right away gonna do half step with double disengage. Six four. Come out. Bam, good, I separated, I separated. Up, one, two. Don't parry, don't hold. Soon as I touch you and I have not taken a step back, it's gotta be a race, like musical chairs. One chair left, the music stopped. Bam, bam, double disengage and go. Up, good, up. No natural rhythm on in and out. We're not moving our feet, remember? Arm extension only, so that way you don't have to be losing your balance and getting caught on your step forward. Nice finish, that's better, yeah? Good, good. Puff, puff, get out, there you go. You forgot the half step. For getting a half step. So if you don't do that half step, you're never gonna get a real action. So I'm taking six, you're not gonna get me to do overreact on four. I'm gonna just wait until you commit a little deeper, parry you, repass four. That's the whole beauty of that half step. Right? If you go a little bit on the inside of me, then I actually think you might attack for real. It's kind of like an egg, right? With a little bit of a yolk on the inside. We're trying not just knock on a yoke. If this opponent is not coming out, you gotta be able to enter inside of it and then create a misdirection on the inside of it. Bam, that's right, that's you knocking on a door. This extension without any commitment is you knocking on that door. Bam, good. Up, I peeped in, good. That's right. Again, knock on that door. That's right. Up, go in. Good. That's it. Okay. I'm close. I'm coming in. So use your arm, right? Half step in. So this is excellent if somebody's pressuring you. Right? You're beginning to move already in and out using the strip a little better. People will catch up on that. And on your step forward, you're going to look to pressure. Arm extension. Your French grippers look to defend. Now, with that in mind, here's the real, I guess, the salt and pepper of this meal. You're doing your arm extension, but you are a French gripper. So you're attacking is one part, but you have to be pretty efficient with those disengages. What you could do better at, arm extension, as I parry, half step, give me that half step, and instead of continuing forward, you're gonna disengage, step back. So the back foot, that is your stop there. So that's you, going back to our egg, you going inside the yolk and try to get out dry. That's what you gotta be able to do. Every French group in this world needs to be able to go inside opponent's distance, risk a little bit within reason of their ability, and get out dry, unscarred, right? So let's do it. Bam, good. Half step. So I parried you, right? So on guard. You extended your arm, I parried you, half step. And now disengage and step out. Perfect. Okay? So that way, 
once we get both, you have this little mystery going on with your opponent. On that half step entry, you're not sure which one's happening. Are you looking to just tap the water and continue? Or are we looking to hit and separate out of there? Half step to, that's the whole key. You can't just disengage and faint sometimes. I think I took a half step so then I couldn't really go further. Right, you did a half step on the first action. But we wanna, we wanna be very reserved. Now, against some opponents, if, if you've proven to them that you can just make this touch, you won't even need that half step. You just hit, disengage, they will believe you. But if it's somebody better than you, you have to earn your keep. Good. Half step, back foot, right? Got parried, pound, pause. That's what we're looking for. Got parried, half step, back foot. Half step, back out. There you go. It's that half step that makes me believe that you took the bait. It's a little riskier, but you can do it. Where's the back foot? Don't do, so we remember this a few lessons back. When we're provoking people, you're searching for trouble, you're gonna get trouble. Don't provoke and stand there, see if they're gonna hit you in the face. They will, right? In and out, automatically. So once you got parried, Half step with a disengage and out, hopefully before I start moving towards you. That's it, use your arm. Good, nice touch. That's it, there you go. Half step. So disengage and the half step's gotta be kind of like in a symbiotic relationship. This has gotta be smooth, loose. You gotta pair it, hop, and separate. This little entry and back is what's gonna get people to bite on it. When are you taught to attack? Pardon? When are you taught to attack? In prep or like on, in prep. On, usually most people are taught on opponent step forward, right? So give them that. They're all looking for it. They're just waiting. Give me a step forward and we'll attack. Use that information to your advantage. It's like, here's what you're looking for, and here's what I'm looking for. Chest, not checkers. Let's go, Isa. Nice. That entry, go inside the yoke. Don't wait for me, right? Palm, up, and separate. Be half a step ahead of me. Straight, straight, get parried, give me some contact, go away from it, and then return to the same line, but on a stop hit. That's right, make your touch, good. Nope, not it. Half step and back, right, but just don't pause. So, you have the right coordination, but it's like you, you're doing the half step and I feel like this. I feel like you're looking at me, it's like, am I doing the right thing? Yes, you are. <laughs> now just go through it, okay? Be prepared. What is your cue? Your cue when I parry, right? So don't just be in this motion of in and out. Opportunity doesn't come knocking on the door in every hit. You gotta be prepared. That's what we teach, to be back straight, on guard the entire time. So that way you're ready as long, I guess for the maximizing amount of time that you're ready to react on something, okay? So, let's go. Get low, get focused. That's right, you're gonna use just your arm, remember? That's right. I parried, bomb, get out, perfect. Oh. That's fencing. Distance, distance, good. Why are you stepping in? Once you do that, you know that you can't give me a half step. You end up being already in the lunge. And from there, you barely can get out, right? If you begin with a poor foundation, you know the result. Why are you provoking me? You're not supposed to provoke. You're just supposed to, on my entry, use your arm extension potentially to control me. That's it, just maintain distance. I step in, you use your arm, perfect. Right, right, but no hesitancy. That's what you're waiting for, right? So this is what you gotta act on. If I was to tell you, once I parry, disengage in flesh. 
This is the same feeling, you're anticipating this. Once I parry, I want it to go in and out with the feint. I'm gonna start stapling that toe on your prep. Good. Okay. But why did you stop and hesitate? Right, so just don't do that, right? Just go through it. You, you know what you're doing, you're doing it correctly. Just go and do the actions. Gotcha. You stepped in, you got hit. Nice hit, that's right. Hop, that's right. Well, not bad, I didn't reach it. Nice, that's it, that's how you provoke. Don't lean in, that's right, good, good, and keep at it. That's not it. You gotta enter in. After the parry, tell yourself, I have to risk a little bit one more time. It's a little bit riskier, but we're trying to kind of double down on it. We risk a little more, and we're trying to get out a little more aggressively. Extend that arm, extend that arm. Go for that hit. You end up falling back into what we mentioned like a few minutes back ago. Instead of doing your hits, you all just end up doing these short feints. We gotta break through that, right? Don't forget what we're doing. You're doing an action on my step forward, you're trying to extend it. And if I parry, because that's what you want, you're gonna look to do a half step in to provoke and get out. Remember that, don't forget it. That's right, so that second was right. That's it. Good. That's it. Okay, dig your in. Dig that tip in. Good. Without the legs though. With, uh -huh. Good. Good. Nice touch, that's right. Yes, that's right, Isa. Good. Good. Much better. Mm -hmm. Good job, just arm. Don't fall in the trap with stepping in. Right, don't. once you back the way, don't just come back for the hit. Don't just go into this in and out. Act. Palm, or hopefully without a step. You make a hit, separate. Take three to four steps to go back in and attempt another one. It's not like a carousel where every two seconds there's a guarantee the same seat passing through the same point, right? No pattern, just relax. Let's go, last little bit. That's right, up, good, without a step though, got you, good, why are you stepping in, Isa don't fall into that pattern, break in, extension, separate the arm from the leg, it's not a unique problem. Most people in this world deal with that. Most people, when they start getting tired, the arm and the leg becomes like in unison, as if they're running, so it's all in the same time. You just gotta separate it. That's it, see? That's what we're looking for. Up, half step, in. So you balance, no pre preconceived notions. Up. That's right. 
Good. Good. Don't step into it. Creep into it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Good. Stay down. Sit low. Don't provoke. Just maintain distance. Good. Don't back away. Control it. See what you're looking for. Good. You see? That's what I said. Don't just start backing away. Because when the moment comes, you're not going to be prepared to actually step in and faint. Be balanced. Be in equal position. Stay balanced. I step in, I back away. That's it. See, I gave you the distance. This is fight for positioning. If you're always going to step away, I'm always going to either, we're going to stay in the same spot, or I'm actually going to use that to my advantage and start taking the steps forward, right? Let's go. One more good one. Good. Nice. One more just to see if I was luck. No steps. That's right. Salute.